Getting to the hairdressers can be a lovely experience. Warm water, lots of lather and having your head massaged by the firm hands of a stylist <laughs> is absolute bliss. But for trainee hairdressers, washing hair all day can often be damaging to your hands, which isn't good for a career in hairdressing. So Japanese inventors have come up with a solution, a robotic hair washers. Now we're in London, Covent Garden, at Stuart Phillips Salon to test out this little robot. Come on. Developed in Japan, the Aqua Vibro Robo Wash has already proved itself a cut above the rest. It works by firing pulses of warm water from special nozzles, which cleans the scalp and hair completely without scratching or jogging the head. Shampoo and conditioner are applied automatically and both the movement and timing of the water jets are precisely controlled by an onboard computer. At 30,000 US dollars each, the Aqua Vibro doesn't come cheap, yet stylist Stuart Phillips is convinced that the investment will pay off. It started off when I was living in Japan. I was in Tokyo for a while. Um, the equipment out there is just so fascinating and I lived there for three months. I became quite friendly with the head distributor in this country, Takara Belmont. And he said, Stuart, would you like to try this new thing that we've got, Aqua Vibro? He told me about it and I said, definitely, I'd love to try it. It works on cycles and it's a big computer keypad on it. You can type in almost anything you like and it will give you the best shampoo you ever have. I didn't do my hair this morning for the very reason that I was going to get it washed. What's, what's the first thing that happens? Okay, well, I'm going to put the gown on you. Yeah, I'm nervous. <laughs> it has its own tank. Okay. that holds water. So when you press a button, all the water goes into the tank and it stays there. Then it heats it up with its own thermostats. And then once it's heated it, that is it. So even if there's a problem with the water in the salon, it won't affect this wash because it says 35 degrees and that's within the tank. So you're safe. I was going to ask you about the chair because is this, do you have to get a specific chair to fit the machine? Yes, you do. Yeah, they go together. You press a button and it elevates back into a bed-like position. Um, you also have a button down the side of the chair. Yep. And when you press it up and down, it will lift your back slightly up or down. Right. So you can choose the comfort back to yourself. Okay, so we've still got quite a lot of human contact here. With we do you have a little bit. Yes, we do. Is that nice and warm, the temperature? Yeah, that's nice. Lovely. Oh, that's, that's set at 35 degrees. <laughs> I've never had an MRI scan, but I, I'm kind of thinking that this is what it would be like. Yeah, I mean. And you'll find it pulsates as well, so it will start, it will stop. That's normal, it hasn't been finished. There it goes, it's off. <laughs> and it also shoots behind your ears as well as at the sides of your head. Yes, I think she's enjoying it. Do you think, Stuart, that those robots will ever replace humans in the salon? Um, with shampooing, it's very possible. Very, very possible. You could even go to the next degree and have arms and legs and shampoo your hair. That's very, very possibly could happen. Yeah, yeah. Come yeah. around the side yeah. there. And, yeah. When yeah. it comes to hair cutting, yeah. I doubt it very much because you like the human touch when cutting. We like the chat, don't we? Yeah. And we talk about other things as well as hair. Um, sort of an agony uncle, really. Yeah. as well as a hairdresser. How would a robot know, uh, have creativity, engage the reaction of the client, things like that? It's all to do with how technology, software, how, how powerful the software is. It maybe can adapt, I don't know. You see, nothing beats the human touch, but when it comes to robots, they certainly add something to your hairdressing experience. Yeah.